भाई माइक ले लेना माइक This is Mahmoud's face on the 5th of August 2019 reported for Jammu Kashmir TV as our Indian High Commission where there is a demonstration organized by South Asia Solidarity uh, uh, Organization. Uh, we will explain a uh, little bit later on but just to give you an update, uh, all the leaders in uh, Indian of Kashmir are under arrest including uh, Mufti, uh, uh, Ms. Mufti under house arrest in the state uh, capital of Srinagar said that those who had participated in Indian democracy had been pushed to the wall. Delhi has revoked Article 370, which guarantees significant autonomy to the to the to Kashmir. Ms. Mufti added that the regime portrayed Kashmir to align itself with India in 1947. Article 370 allowed the state to have its own constitution, a separate flag, independence, and overall matters of foreign uh, affairs, uh, defense, and communications. Ms. Huthi speaking to authors and reporters, said in an exclusive interview, including to the BBC, said we the people have uh, faith in the country of India have been proved wrong. We have been let down by the same nation we seceded to, she said. She added they seem though as the state had the wrong choice in in aligning itself with India. Now those don't know that Ms. Mufti is actually uh, pro sort of Indian uh, alignment uh, Kashmir, and even she has now said this. Uh, this morning, since 12 a.m., all the uh, internet connection, uh, mobile phone connection, 
telephone connection and all the connections have been cut off totally including landlines. Uh, the only lines seem to be working are goes to hospital, all other lines are cut off. So although we have uh, reporters, Jammu Kashmir TV does have reporters on, on the ground to report to as things develop and happen, we are unable to do so the, because the Indian military has cut off all connection of Kashmir to the outside world. Uh, the, uh, this has happened because the Indian government has revoked a part of the constitution that gives Indian Mr. Kashmir a special status in an unpresidential move like to provoke and spark unrest. Uh, as you know, Kashmir is already the highest military zone uh, in the world according to the United Nations. The Article 370 is sensitive uh, because it, it is what guarantees security autonomy to the uh, Kashmir. There has been a long running uh, uh, battle in, uh, for independent Kashmir. In, in Kashmir, uh, and all report on the, most of the channels are, but India is playing a very dangerous game in serious consequences, peace and stability, said foreign, uh, Pakistan Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi. I don't think it helps. You know? We're just going to now uh, speak to some of the people who come to the demonstration. Uh, come in and ask them why they've come to uh, come to the demonstration and what the reasons are. Sorry. इस वक्त हम इंडियन अंबेसी के बाहर लंदन में जो प्रोटेस्ट हो रहा है आर्टिकल 370 के सिलसिले में उसमें साउथ ईस्ट एशियन सोलिडारिटी ग्रुप के थ्रू उसमें यहाँ पे मौजूद हैं और यहाँ पे रहे हैं कि um, and um, of course, then this morning there was this really shocking news um, about our seventy and about the tremendously dangerous move by the Indian government, uh, which completely, uh, uh, completely kind of seeks to obliterate the Kashmiri people's uh, right to self determination. So. Um, we're going to um, have a few people uh, speaking to us. Um, first of all, um, there are several people who are here uh, from, from the Shri, from the family, who are going to uh, uh, very bravely um, say a few words. So, um, if those people could please uh, come if you'd like to say a few words. of Jammu and Kashmir place on record before the global community reckless and destabilizing initiatives by the Union of India that threaten our identity and our existence aimed at bringing about demographic change in an unscrupulous and unconstitutional move the government of India has moved a number of bills in the parliament today these bills source their authority from article 370 to nullify article 370 rendering it inoperative and seek to bifurcate the state of Jammu and Kashmir of and the Both these objectives are wholly arbitrary and outrageously unconstitutional, resulting in an abject disenfranchisement of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. We remind the people of India that Article 370 is the result of an international treaty that was signed when India was still a part of the British Crown, and this initiative amounts to an illegal annexation of Jammu and Kashmir. As such, 
Ye Kashmiris are deprived of their right to determine our own future and we urge the democratic institutions of India to discharge their duty in protecting the guarantees made to the people of Kashmir. Kashmir has had no elected government for the last one year. All decisions are being taken by an unelected representative of the government of India. The last few weeks have seen chaos and confusion deliberately engineered by India to create a sense of panic and chaos in Kashmir. All communication has been cut off, mobile services, broadband, landline and internet have been snapped. Civilian movement on all highways for the last month was restricted to make space for troop mobilization. In this time, the government of India has mobilized 180,000 parliamentary troops to Kashmir, in addition to the 700,000 already present there. This was followed by an unprecedented order asking tourists and Amarnath Yatra pilgrims to leave the valley while rumours of war were allowed to escalate. A curfew has been imposed indefinitely in Kashmir beginning today at 6 a.m. Prominent leaders belonging to mainstream political parties in the state, including former Chief Minister Umar Abdullah and former Chief Ministers Umar Abdullah and Mehbooba Mufti, and separatist leaders like Yasin Malik have been jailed, leaving no shade of political opinion in Kashmir to voice our concerns against a wholly unconstitutional move of aggression against the assurances guaranteed to us under the Constitution of India. Today, by way of presidential order under Article 370, the government of India has